Okay, so one of the cool things about Pro Planner is that we allow you to have unlimited users on all of your projects. What that means is you're able to bring in anybody from your own team, so your superintendent, your foreman, project managers, any executives that you might need in here, as well as project partners. And so I'm gonna show you today how you can create new users and also create new companies. So anybody will be able to do this as long as they have project settings available to them. You'll just go up to the top right, go to your settings. And then if I wanna create a user specific to this project, I wanna go to my project settings. And then I wanna go to my users tab. And then I can simply select create user. It's gonna ask me to do an email, assign a role and assign a company. Before I do that, I do wanna show everybody that you do have the option to hit this information button and it will give you an overview of the eight levels of permissions that we allow on Pro Planner. You've got admins who have total access, project leaders who don't have any access to your company settings, scheduler who don't have any access to company and project settings, superintendent who has the ability to view your master schedule, but they can only make changes in the look ahead and in the weekly plan, and then they only have access to their own user settings. And then as we move on down the line, we, we restrict more and more settings, but the really nice one that we have is for project partners. This is intended so that you can invite a subcontractor to participate in your project and on your schedule, but all they can do is create new tasks for themselves in the look ahead, and they can't make any changes to other companies' tasks as well as roadblocks. So they can view your master schedule, they can add a task, add a roadblock, they can even send you a modification request. But again, they have no control over what's occurring in your master schedule. It's just a great way for them to feed information to you and for you to all coordinate together. So I'm gonna close out of that. And again, you just go to create user, type in an email, assign them a role, so maybe it's project partner, and then assign them to a company. If you need to, you can create a new company if they're not already in here. And I can show you how you can do that for the project level as well. So I'm just gonna go to our companies tab here. And much like I can create a new user, I can also create a new company. So if I select create, it's gonna ask me to name the company, to assign it a color. And that's the two important things that I need. If I wanna add a type or an ID, I can. We don't recommend adding an email because those emails are gonna be tied to users. So we do that, we click add, and then it's gonna start creating new companies for our project. Something to keep in mind, as you use Pro Planner on more and more projects, you're gonna be inviting users and creating new companies. And as you have new projects that you bring in, you might have some of the same users or same companies that you used on a previous project. If that's the case, all you have to do is go to assign company and I can scroll in here and turn companies on and off of my project, close that out, and then same goes for users. I can come in here and start assigning new users or removing users from my project. You can see it pre-populating in the background. Hopefully that helps you all out. This is uh, in your total control as long as you have the right permissions to get into your project and company settings. So your admins and project leaders will have the ability to invite new users and create new companies. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us.